Time now for First Alert Weather with meteorologist Rob Nucatola. And we start on the 24 hour temperature cast. A lot of numbers this morning never really dipping all that far below 80. I think we're going to quickly climb through the 80s and back to 90 by lunchtime and then get to those middle 90s. But today we shouldn't have to wait as long for showers. And with a little bit of luck, we'll find some more in some more spots. So maybe that can prevent the temperatures from ever getting so high in the first place. Although I still think the mid 90s where we're headed, we shouldn't stay there for as long. And over the weekend, we can even lower those temperatures a little bit more as we should start to expect more showers at more times during the day in more places. Here are the numbers around the region right now. Dothan, Alabama is the warm spot at 79. Tallahassee and Perry close at 78. Same Camilla and Bainbridge all at 78 degrees. Thomasville, we're the cool spot, 73. In Valdosta, we've got 75 this morning. Not a lot of wind out there, but just enough to get the air moving with that little south and southwest breeze. I haven't seen too much fog this morning. You'd think, especially with some of those showers that hung on until 1, 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, we'd find more patchy fog. But right now, all those visibilities near 10 miles. Here's the radar loop over the past couple of hours. You can see some of the showers that moved through parts of Thomas and Brooks and even Lowndes County and sunk south into parts of North Florida, north of I-10. Jefferson County, Madison County may notice some wet road surfaces. Wasn't big rains, wasn't all over the place, but there were some and they were at the different periods during the day. So now that we're starting to change that pattern a little bit, I think we can find more showers in more spots at more times during the day and night, and that will adjust our forecast a little bit over the next couple of days. Futurecast wants to get the activity going 3, 4, 5 o'clock this afternoon. The sooner it happens, the better chance we have to calm some of that temperatures down. And plus, it's still not going to be an everybody gets wet all at the same time kind of rain. We're talking hit or miss 30 minute showers that move on, and then as they move on, they cool things down. We should probably find more and more of those showers in more and more locations during the next two or three days. The best chances to get wet are looking like they're going to be on Sunday and Monday. So if you've got outdoor plans for the weekend, they still look like they're going to be OK. Maybe tomorrow a better outdoor day than Sunday. On the Gulf today, winds out of the southwest 5 to 12. Seas two feet or less. And we'll call it mostly smooth in the protected water. So not bad for the boaters, but there should be more showers. 40% shot for those showers this morning. More like a 60 or 70% chance this afternoon. I think we're still talking mid 90s, but not for as long as they were yesterday. And we had temperatures up over 90 at the Tallahassee Airport until almost 9 o'clock last night. It's a lot of hot. Now tonight, I think we'll find more muggy and lingering clouds and some more of those showers that want to linger into the overnight. Here's that forecast for the next seven days. Those rain chances up and up and up over the weekend, and maybe that can even keep the top temperatures in the 80s.